I am Laila Africa. And I am Melanie Stevenson. We are here giving you the results of the tongue challenge. We are so excited for the tongues that we had a chance to read and we're going to read to you. And thank you for purchasing Holistic Self Diagnosis. So what we're doing is uh, helping people to learn how to diagnose themselves. And they use the book Holistic Self Diagnosis. And then the book, it guides you through how to diagnose your tongue. And we're just trying to help you to be more comfortable with understanding your health. So we're going to help you to understand by analyzing other people's tongues that were sent in during the challenge. Okay, so without further ado, let's start with our first tongue. Marcia, you know who you are, our Facebook family. How are you? We appreciate you sending in your tongue and what we can see with Marcia's tongue. Seems to be rabbit coated and it shines a little bit, which means she's having some spleen problems and impurities in her blood, which may cause her to have skin breakouts of some sort. I also see that she's having digestive issues. Yes, that's quite clear. What we're looking at is how the body is placed onto the tongue. At the root of the tongue is the lower organ system, and in the middle of the tongue is the middle organ system, and around the tip is the upper organ system, which would be the lungs and the brain and all that. And we're looking for inconsistencies on the tongue, and that's how we know the problems that our lady may be having, challenges. I also see a little bit of stomach. There's a little bit of stomach stuff going on here. Stomach uh, is a challenge for her yes. as well as digestive issues because she has some indentations around her tongue, particularly on the left side of her tongue, which can indicate some problems there. The stomach is on the left, the pancreas is on the left, the spleen is on the left. So it's particularly on the left side where she expressing more challenges. And the last thing I'll pick out that I can see is that she may be having a little bit of a hormonal imbalance. Might not feel like you want to be bothered most of the time. Cause a little bit of moodiness, but it's okay. We've all had that. Yes. All right. So I hope that helped you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the next one we're going to look at, um, Keisha. So we're looking at Keisha's tongue. And I see that Keisha is a very emotional individual. Yes. Uh, I can also see that she's ha actually having digestive and hormonal issues and um, maybe having a little bit of uh, lower to middle back issues. Particularly the lower back and she's having some liver problems which is shown by the lake yellowness on her tongue. Mm -hmm. And we see some petechia which is like red little bumps mm -hmm. which indicates she has a lot of carbon dioxide in her blood. She's not really purifying her blood well enough, which may be associated with the lungs. Okay, so Keisha, we hope you got some good information there. So the next one we're going to go to is Nalita. Um, that's a challenge. It's a wide tongue, which mm -hmm. means she can be kind of passive or emotional. It's wide and it's cracks in it. And that's a line down the center of her tongue, which has little cracks in it which can indicate that it's some dryness or impactation in a colon. Yeah, and I also see that she may have a little bit of stomach um, issues and may have a little bit of nerves, you know, stress, an abundance of stress going on inside of her body. Mm, that's true, along with a little bit of yeast. She yeah. has some yeast and overpopulation. That doesn't mean you're growing mushrooms, it's just an overpopulation of yeast. And this can be caused by sweets or processed foods or dairy okay well Nalita we appreciate you sending in your tongue uh, next we have Maisha Maisha's having digestive issues as well uh, yes. a little bit of yeast I see and patching in the colon it's mostly digestive stress and her lungs are kind of over reacting to the stressful condition and getting a little dry. That's why she has a darkness around the lungs at the tip of her tongue, which mm -hmm. can indicate some kind of a stress as well. Mm -hmm. Emotional, social kind of stress is involved there. Um, she can overcome her problems. It's just a matter of uh, making some changes. But I do see a little kind of cracks, just small little cracks in her on her tongue, which indicates some problems with her joints. She may be a little sensitive as well. Watch your stress levels, Maisha. 
Thank you. We appreciate it. Hopefully you got some good, good information from that. Next we have Janice. And we're looking at Janice's tongue. I guess this is the best way that I can get this image. Hormonal. Most definitely hormonal. Hormonal. Not, not enough uh, absorption of water. She may drink it, but she's not metabolizing it. And again, there's some cracks. It's particularly in the upper part, maybe in the lower part of her tongue, lower back. It's somewhat out of line because that line in the center of her tongue is is deviating, which means there's some problems. They're pulling it out of line. Mm -hmm. And I see uh, a little stomach and spleen. Has to watch sugar, watch your sugar intake. Mm, yeah. Even if you if if you just so happen, Janice, to be a vegetarian, which I'm not sure by looking at your tongue, watch your carbohydrate intake because there are a lot of things to convert to sugar, and I can see that you refined may refined carbohydrates yeah. and regular carbohydrates. She could be a carboholic, as we call it, excessive carbohydrates, bread, pasta. Uh, cooked bread, better known as spaghetti and macaroni, all that's cooked bread. It's just a lot of uh, grains, as we call it. All right, Janice, we hope you enjoyed that. And the next one we have is, I think your name is Sarabi. Okay, if I messed up your name, please forgive me. Okay, so we're looking at a sign. You have blood pressure issues in your family. You must watch yours. Yeah, blood pressure, white spots on your tongue, which may be related to overpopulation of yeast and the liver problems are being shown by your tongue. Intestines as well. And a little bit of aggressiveness from the pointedness of your tongue. Just a little. You're extroverted, as they would say. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Sarabi, hope you enjoy. Next one is for CJ. This person is rather clogged up. Their back is out of line. Yes. And they have a lower and middle. Lower yeah. and middle organ stress. That would be the liver, pancreas, and your reproductive system. It's just a lot of uh, overgrowth of fungus and yeast. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't eat so many peanuts, mushrooms, ketchup, mustard. Be careful of that. Yeah, there's particularly the mushrooms and vinegar and fermented things like beer and wine. And cheese, of course. But he can overcome these challenges, mind you. But it's a very deep line in the center of his tongue. And when very that deep. line is crooked, your back is crooked. Mm -hmm. when that, and in the case where part of your body is being physically stressed. Yeah, definitely. Physical and emotional stress. Well, CJ, we hope you enjoy. The next one we'll do is Vivian. Vivian. She's having a little bit of upper back problems. Yeah, upper back is very well stressed and the digestive system, we talked about the small intestine, large intestines is out of line. Something is pulling it out of lines. What we call impactations, some kind of weight. Um, the transit time, the movement of the food, it can be slowed in one area and it looks like it's slow on the ascending colon. Uh, but. Uh, these are challenges you have. It's not, nothing that you cannot overcome. The, uh, the little red spots on your tongue, we call it petechiae, that indicates some kind of problems with your skin, which is hormonally related, to, of Definitely. course. Yeah. A little bit of digestion. And we see some problems with your kidneys. It's mm -hmm. very stressed, particularly the, uh, what's that, the left kidney? Yes. Yeah. Well, if we turn the tongue around this way. Yeah, so left kidney yeah. stress, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it looks like we've gone through a lot of the tongues that we have actually selected. We hope you got good information from it. Yeah, just understand that you can <coughs> help yourself and you have many ways to do it. And the tongue is probably the easiest way. And brushing your tongue and all that tongue cleansing that you do does not get rid of the plaque and clogness in your small and large intestines and stomach. That whatever happened, happened 30 feet below it, and then it migrated up to your tongue. Well, we hope you enjoyed the tongue challenge. And if you're interested, please visit us at our official website. Which is lailaafrica.com. And you go to the website and you'll be able to access more information and more ways to heal yourself. 
So for those of you who were having issues, may it be with sugar or, or candida, Dr. Africa has his own supplements that you can feel free to go and explore the information. And if you'd like, you can purchase a product. And for those of you, if you like this, please let us know. You can become a member inside of LaidaAfrica.com. And these are the type of things we will do regularly because we want you to be empowered over your own body. So again, please come to LaidaAfrica.com. Thank you.